Welcome to the Eagle's Nest and another Summertown High School basketball game. Tonight, the Wildcats of Lawrence County come visiting the Summertown Eagles for what should be a highly contested basketball game tonight. Two basketball games. Good evening, this is Charlie Mabry along with Brian Long and Eddie Talley on the Granny Network. Channel 10 in Etheridge. Channel 3 in Larsburg bringing you Summertown High School basketball. Tonight's games are sponsored by CB&T Bank, Scott's Grocery, Fox Sporting Good, Marshall's Grocery, Bypass Pools, D&D &D Grocery, t and Video, and Dickie's Janitorial of Columbia. We hope you enjoy tonight's basketball games, and it's about time for the starting lineups. Our officials tonight are two veterans of the ranks, Mr. Tim Gaddis and Don Venata. Don Venata has been calling this district basketball for the past 25 years, and Tim Gaddis has about 10 years experience in, in single A basketball. They call all over the state. There's a, there isn't any exception. They call single A, double A, and triple A. Coach Jim Freeman brings his Lawrence County girls in tonight after a loss to Wayne County, 60 to 48. And now our Summertown High School band, under the direction of Michael Hester, plays our national anthem. Starting lineups, Coach Jimmy Freeman's Lawrence County Wildcats, number 42, Holly Hardy. Number 23, Amy Daniel. Number 21, Heather Marston. Number 35, Jill Simone. And number 55, Carla Smith. That's the starting lineup for Coach Jimmy Eagles, Lawrence County Wildcats. Now, Coach Anita Odom, Summertown Eagles, number 44, Vanessa Bailey, number 25, Alicia Benefield, number 24, Shonda Foster, number 52, Tammy Marshall, and rounding out the starting lineup, Coach Anita Odom's number 32, Brandy McMullen. Well, it's just about game time. Crowd's settling in. We'd have, don't look like we're going to have a full house tonight here at Summertown High School at the Eagle's Nest. These Summertown girls went down to Lawrence County about a month ago and came away with a 12-point victory. So Lawrence County is looking for revenge. They send out Holly Hardy, Jill Simone, Heather Marston, Amy Daniel, and Carla Smith. And Coach Anita Odom and Phil Willard are sending out Vanessa Bailey, Alicia Benefield, Shonda Foster, Tammy Marshall, and Brandy McMullen. It's going to be Vanessa Bailey and Jill Simone in the middle of the jump. And Tim Gattis puts the ball up. It's in play, taken by Smith. Lawrence County controls the opening tip. 
Gil Simone going to work the point for some large county girls in the low post to Daniel. He tied up, traveling, give her to the Eaglehead. Orange County opening up into a half-court zone press. Interception by Hardy comes across the left side, cut off the 20-foot line on the high post to Smith, puts one up, no good. Foster comes in for the rebound for Summertown over to McMullen. Summertown swiftly brings her up. She's cut off 25 feet out over to Benny Field. Hell makes a, makes a move. She's cut off back over to Marshall, working outside to McMullen. Lawrence County has jumped into man-to-man. -man. Ball is stolen by Daniel. She's going all the way, guarded by McMullen. Puts one up. Lawrence County is on the board. We've played a minute, two to nothing. They're double teaming at midcourt. Benefield took a 12-foot jump. It's short, no good. Gets her own rebound, makes a move for the basket. It's blocked by Smith. Picked back up by Marshall. McMullen on the low post to Foster, puts one up, it's blocked, gets her own rebound, puts her up. And Carla Smith picks up personal foul number one, team foul number one. It's going to send Shonda Foster to the line to shoot two. This one's no good. Second one's no good. Lawrence County clears over to Simone. She's working against McMullen. 25 feet out. Summertown into the man to man. Over to Smith. She's 22 feet out. Guarded by Foster over on the right wing to Marston. Back over at Hardy. Holly makes a move over to Smith. Puts up a 10 footer. No good. And Tammy Marshall comes out with a rebound. Marshall, 22 feet out, cut off, back over to McMullen, trying to find a postman, she can't. Marshall's about 30 feet out, makes a move into the line. It... Haley, 22 feet out, they gonna give it to her, but she's not gonna take it. Over to Foster, back over to Benefield. Makes a move into about 15 feet over to Marshall. Puts up a 20-foot set. It's nothing but air. Give it to Lawrence County. Coach Jimmy Freeman has really adjusted his off his defense. So the last time these two teams played, Summertown had a 12-point victory down in Lawrence County. Hardy over on the right wing, back on the side to Marston, back in the high post. Hardy traveling, give her back to the Eagles. 5-21, first period, Lawrence County 2, Summertown zip. Double taming the ball, back over to Foster, back to Benefield. She's cut off, they fall back into a man-to-man. -man. Four mistake. Give her to the Kittens. Simone working out front, back over on the right side, left side to Smith, back on the right side to Daniel. She's making a move, cut off. Simone puts one up, no good. Smith takes her off, makes her move, puts it up, in, out, no good. Shonda Foster comes out with a rebound for the Eaglets. Summertown on the run. McMullen going to stop, cut off on the right side over to Benefield, 25 feet out, making her move, trying to hit the post. And he's tipped out, give her back to the Eaglehead. McMullen working outside, has the ball intercepted. Battle, give her to the Wild Kittens. Two to nothing, four and a half minutes. First period. Simone working out front. Back on the left wing to Daniel. She makes a move, has the ball get out of her hand, piled up on the floor. 
Jump ball, give it to the Eagleheads. Four twenty two, first period. Two to nothing. Double teaming, half court. Hits a high post, comes back out to Benny Field. Got a man open in the corner. Marshall makes a move, and Holly Hardy sticks a leg out, catches her with a knee. Personal foul number one, team foul number two. These Lawrence County girls are tall, taller than the Summertown girls. Benefield finds McMullen out on the right wing. She's going to make a move, trying to find the post out on a high, low post to Bailey. Puts one up. Rims no good. And Carla Smith picks up personal foul number two. It's going to bring Joy Burleson up off of Coach Freeman's bench. Also, Amelia Braswell set to enter for the Lawrence County girls. Vanessa Bailey going to the line to shoot two. We're halfway through the first period, and it's two to nothing. Bailey's first shot, good. Cuts the lead in half. Summertown fresh off a 46-44 victory Tuesday night in Perry County. Shot number two is good. Two to two, Summertown open up full court press. Ball comes down the right side by Braswell, finds Burleson all alone, and Joy lays one up and in. Benefield left wing to Bailey. She makes a move to the middle, puts up a 15-foot jump. Give her two more. Four to four, 340, first period. Simone working out front against the man-to-man -man defense. Trying to find, make something happen. She makes her move down the middle, goes all the way, lays her up. Jill's on the board. Lawrence County, six to four, 320 in the period. Bailey Marshall all alone, puts one up, no good. Foster clears the board, no good. And Joy Burleson brings her off to Lawrence County. She's tied up, give her back to the Wildcats. Intercepted by Marshall. She's double teamed, 35 feet out over to Benefield. Trying to make something happen. Everybody's covered, has her pocket picked. And we have a foul on number 21, Heather Marston. Personal foul number one, team foul number four. On these Lawrence County Wild Kittens. Summertown set the inbound. Rear. Right rear court. Benefield trying to find somebody. McMullen goes to the back court. She's guarded closely by Braswell. Over to Bailey. Looking for a postman. Makes her move over to Foster. Round the horn to McMullen. She goes all the way in. Puts one up. It's short. Clears her own rebound. Puts one up. Brandy's on the board. Six to six. Two and a half minutes. Summertown into a full court press. Ball comes over to Burleson out front to Hardy. Holly is going to set it up at midcourt. Like her move down the left side, back over in the front to Simone on the low post to Marston. Puts one up, no good. Gets her own rebound. And Shonda Foster gets her with her body. Personal foul number one, team foul number one. Heather Mar Marston, the inbounds to Burleson, puts up a five-foot jump, no good, bouncing around. McMullen comes out for the Eagles. On the low post to Bailey, she fumbles it out. We're going to give her back to White. 204, 6 to 6. We're in the opening period here at Summertown High School Gymnasium. Marshall cut off at the three-point line, back over to Foster to Bailey. McMullen making a move. She's trying to find somebody, finds Marshall. She moves within 10 feet, has the ball picked away, picked up by McMullen, Benefield to Foster.
Benefield cut off the lane on a high post to Bailey. Has the ball flip off her foot back over to McMullen. She's trying to find a postman. Can't find it. Over to Benefield. Back over to Marshall. Making a move across the middle. She's cut off. Benefield into low post to Foster. Back out to McMullen. Summertown can't get inside the 20-foot line. This defense is really pressured. McMullen tries to feed the post, has it intercepted by Simone. She's going coast to coast. Foster comes in with her, and Jill's on the board with four. Lawrence County takes a two-point lead. We're inside of one minute of the first period. Marshall over on the left side, 22-footer. Give her three. Nine to eight, 45 seconds. Jill Simone working the backcourt. She comes across the line, going all the way. She cut off 10 feet from the basket. Who's hanging on? 37 seconds. And Alicia Benefield picks up personal number one, team foul number two. Jill Simone set to be the trigger man for Lawrence County. She is a, goes to the middle to Braswell, puts one up. Give Amelia two. Lawrence County back in the lead. Half a minute remaining. First period over to Benefield. Makes a bad pass. Picked up by McMullen. 30 feet out. Trying to find Bailey on the left wing. They really double teaming the ball. They covering up. Going to the pass. Anticipating the pass. Marshall 22 foot set. It's long. No good. Foster goes up for the rebound. Has it knocked out. Give it back to the Eagles with eight seconds remaining. Going to bring Gina Skinner in. Give Alicia Benefield a little pine time. McMullen set the inbound. We have eight seconds trying to find a postman. Ball comes into Marshall. Foster back over to Skinner. McMullen, two seconds, puts up a 20-footer in, out, no good. First quarter comes to an end. Summertown, nine. Lawrence County, 10. Community Bank and Trust, Summertown Branch, would like to take this opportunity to let the people of Lawrence County know that we appreciate our customers. The Community Bank and Trust offers a complete line of banking services with competitive rates of interest on all money market and certificate of deposit accounts, as well as low interest rates on all type loans. We invite you, the people of Lawrence County, to visit our main office in North Locust in Larsburg and the Summertown branch to discuss any of your financial needs. So come see the friendly folks at Community Bank and Trust, member FDIC. We're about set to start the second period. The scoring run down the first period. Well, we'll give that a little bit later. Summertown in the Marshall, back over to Bailey. She cut off on the front team. This Summertown bunch really a hustling there. Hustling bunch of girls over to Skinner. Foster working 20 feet out. Working the perimeter. They can't get the ball inside. Can't get it in the shooter's hands. Skinner, Marshall's got her 30 feet out. McMullen driving the middle, puts up a five-foot run. It's short. Ball tipped around, picked up by Heather Marston. Lawrence County is bringing her back. Jill Smoney working out front. Guarded closely by McMullen. Over in the middle for Burleson. Joy's a big girl standing about 18 feet out. Over on her left side to Marston. It makes her move into the middle. Back to Simone. She's going all the way. Does the ball slip out of her hands? Floor mistake. Give her back to the Eaglets. We played a minute of the second period. Lawrence County holds a one-point lead, 10 to 9. Summertown works the right wing to Foster. Back over out front. McMullen, Skinner. Bad pass picked up by Foster on the low post to Bailey. He puts up a two-footer. Give her two. Six points for Vanessa. Gives Summertown the one-point lead with 6.36. Simone working out front. She's cut off 25 feet out over to Holly. Joy Burleson pulled back over to Harley Hardy. It fires one up. No good. Shonda Foster comes off for the Summertown girls. Yeah. 
Left wing is Skinner. She's trying to hit the post. Hits Bailey, and somebody's picking her pocket. Joy Burleson picks up personal number one. Team foul number five. <laughs> Kenna Skinner, trigger man, try finds Bailey, 25 feet out. That's about the closest they've been able to get. McMullen on the high post to Bailey, trying to find a postman, finds Foster, back out. McMullen puts up a 20-footer, it's no good. Foster brings her off, no good. Carla Smith brings her off, Lawrence County over to Simone. 5.50, first half, 11 to 10. Summertown with a one-point lead. Ball over in the right corner to Amy Daniel. Traveling, full mistake. Turn the ball over. McMullen made it midcourt by Braswell. Back over on the left wing to Skinner. She's not going to shoot from out there. Marshall on the high post, back to Skinner, 15 feet. She's going to make her a move. They're trying to find Marshall all the way outside, and she's not open. McMullen cut off 18 feet. Skinner 22 feet out. Makes a drive for the basket, goes all the way in, throws up a weak one, no good. Gets it back, no good. Ball comes off, and Jill Simone is on her back. Personal foul number one, team foul number six. After the next... The Eaglets will be in the one and one. McMullen on the right side to Marshall. Back over to Foster. We're playing the perimeter. Coach Freeman's got his girl guarding closely out front. Now let them get the ball into the post. That's where they beat them. In Lawrence County it was a post play. Ball's intercepted by Amy Daniel leading the way, going up. And Tammy Marshall's on her arm. Give her two. It'll send Amy Daniel to the line to shoot two. Amy has two. Jill Simone, two. Joey Braswell, Burleson, two. Amelia Braswell, two. Amy Daniel, two. Amy to the line shooting two. It's good. Scores all night at 11 11, 449, second period. <laughs> Amy's second shot, it's up in the air. Give it to her. Lawrence County takes the lead by one. McMullen back on the right wing to Benefield. Bailey left alone in the post, puts up a two footer. She has eight. Home teams one ahead all, again. Simone working out front against McMullen. Back over to Smith on the right side. Makes a move all the way down the middle. Puts her up and it counts and she's fouled. Alicia Benefield picks up personal foul number two. It's going to bring Heather Marston back in for the Lawrence County girls. As Carla Smith records her first two. Puts Lawrence County back on top by one. 425. They're two up. 15 to 13. McMullen working over front court, trying to find somebody. Has the ball intercepted by Marston. Lawrence County's on the run. Simone is set up out front. Over on the left wing to Hardy. Holly hadn't scar scored as yet. Simone making a move, about an eight foot jump, no good. Gina Skinner brings off a strong rebound for the Eaglets. Summertown running, McMullen within about 20 feet. Skinner, 22 feet. She's not gonna put it up from out there. They can back off over. Back over to Benefield. McMullen making a move to the basket, puts up a six footer, it's no good. Ball comes off to Lawrence County, Holly Hardy. 340, Lawrence County with a two-point lead. Simone working against 
Uh, we have a double foul away from the ball on Alicia Benefield and Heather Marston. Alicia Benefield's third personal foul. <laughs> Alternating possessions. Lawrence County gets the ball back in. Back over to Mark. Simone in the middle. Puts up the five-footer, and McMullen brings the ball out for personal foul number one. It's going to bring Joy Burleson back in for the Lawrence County girls. It's going to send... Jill Simone to the line to shoot two. First one, no good. That's the first miss they've had from a free throw line. 15 to 13. Lawrence County with a two-point lead. That's good. Five points for Jill. Stretches the lead to three. McMullen working. Tries to hit the post. Bailey back into Foster. Puts one up. We have a hack. And Carla Smith puts up personal foul number three. It's going to bring Jackie Garland in for the Summertown girls and Karen Marson in for the Lawrence County girls. That's three fouls on the big girl, Carla Smith, that sends Shonda Foster to the line to shoot two. First one's up. She's 0 for 3. Got to get her a little luck here. and rolling good. Shonda's on the board, cuts the lead to two, just over three minutes. Simone working the ball into front court. She's cut off, back over on the wing to Marston, to Simone. Somebody's left open, that's Morrison. Has the ball tipped out by Foster. Coach Freeman's up, working the girls, working the sideline, has been all night, that's his characteristic. He stays up, keeps him active. Jill Simone, trigger man, comes on the right wing, left wing to Morrison, puts up a 15-foot jump. No good. Ball comes off to Morrison, puts her up. No good. Foster goes high for the rebound, and Karen Marston, Morrison is on her back. Summertown to shoot the one and one. Karen Morrison picks up personal foul number one. It's going to bring Harley Hardy back in. She's the gun for the Summertown girl. She hadn't scored yet. Bring Shonda back to the line to shoot the one and one. It's up. No good. Benefield clears the board, puts one up. It rolls. Give it to her. Double figures. That nods her all up. 2.44 the first half. Hardy working 15 feet over on the right wing, back to the le left wing to Braswell, puts one up, no good. Bailey clears for the Summertown girls over to Benefield. Two and a half minutes remaining, first half. Float over to Marshall on the right wing, back to Benefield to Bailey. Marshall 20 feet out, she makes a move, puts up an eight foot jump, it's batted over into Foster's hands. Give her two. Shondo's in the right spot at the right time. Put Summertown ahead by two. Lawrence County working. Braswell working out front. And Alicia Benefield picks up personal foul. That's going to send Amelia Braswell to the line to shoot the one and one. That's three fouls on Alicia with 2.03 remaining in the half. Amelia Braswell has two points coming off of Coach Jimmy Freeman's bench. It's 
It's good. Cuts the lead in half, 18 to 17. Just a shade over two minutes. <clears throat> Second one's up. It's good also. That's four points. It knocks her back up. Two minutes. First half, McMullen back over to Foster, trying to find a postman. Then makes a move out to 20 feet. We're giving and going. Foster has the ball get away, and we have a foul on Jackie Garland. Personal foul number one. <clears> that will send Lawrence County to the line to shoot the one and one. With a minute 50 remaining, period number two. This is the Granny Network, Channel 10 Sports, bringing you Summertown High School basketball. Big county rival between the Summertown Eagles and the Larch County High Wildcats. Joy Burleson to the line to shoot the one and one. It's short. Ball comes off Simone, puts one up, no good. Ball bad around, picked up by Marshall. Summertown on the move. McMullen gets her across the timeline, trying to find Marshall. She's covered up by Simone. They're not going to give her the basket tonight. Makes her move back out to Bailey. Sit up 30 feet out. We got a pick from Amelia Braswell. That's going to send. Vanessa Bailey to the line to shoot the one and one. <clears throat> Vanessa has 10 of the 18 points Summertown has. Shonda Foster three, Tammy Marshall three, and Brandy McMullen has the other two. Vanessa's at the line where she is two for two. Three for three. Been a fast moving, fast paced basketball game with few timeouts. Bailey has 12, Summertown the lead by two. They're in a full court press. Ball comes in the middle to Daniel. She's working the back court, gets her across the timeline. Trying to find Braswell over on the right wing, makes her move. It's about 12 feet of the basket, puts one up. Mia has six. Knocks her back up. We're inside of a minute. Out to Bailey, out front, trying to find the postman. She can't find it. Over to Jackie Garland. Marshall on the free throw line, makes her move, has her ball stripped, picked up by Braswell. She's going to settle it down. 45 seconds. They're making their move back over to Burleson, back. Amy Daniel puts up a 20-footer, give her three. 22 to 20. McMullen over to Bailey. Back over to Foster. And the low post to Bailey. He puts one up and in. Give and go, and he went. 22-22. 10 seconds. Ball comes in, stolen by Marshall. Stolen back by Lawrence County. Three, two. Marston fires one up. That's the first half. Comes in, 22 to 22. Marshall's Grocery, located on Highway 43 in Etheridge, is now in our new building. We have full-service gas pumps, K-1 kerosene, and a full range of groceries, a gift shop, a game room, and a large variety of goods and food. We offer movies, and we have the best homemade sandwiches in town. Marshall's Grocery is open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. six days a week. Come by and let Tommy and Joyce Marshall know you enjoy the basketball games on Channel 10 and 3. Well, we're starting the third period. Summertime bringing the ball in. McMullen working on the front court. We're still tied up just like we were when we started the ball game. Foster over on the left wing, back out to Bailey. They're playing the high, playing the post out around 20 feet. Running the shuffle. 
Back over to Mike Mullen, trying to find somebody. Lawrence County won't let the ball get in. The Bailey puts up an eight-foot jump. Give it to her. Half a minute into the third quarter. Jill Simone working in the front court on the left wing. Back over to Holly Hardy in the middle to Smith. Puts one up. And Alicia Benefield picks up personal foul number four. Number four, team foul number one of the half. Boy, we sure got a crowd here tonight. I like to never got back through that crowd. Carla Smith at the line to shoot two. It's good. Carla has four. It's going to bring Jackie Garland in to take Alicia's place with those four personal fouls. Carla's second shot. It's good. That's five points for Carla. Knots her back up. 7-15. Bailey, 25 feet out. Lawrence County really has an aggressive man-to-man -man defense. They're really aggressive. Garland over to Marshall. Marshall working out, takes about a 15-footer. It's blocked. Give her back to the Eagles. This is single A and double A. Single A and triple A. You can really tell the difference in the caliber of play. Marshall, 25 feet out, back over to Bailey. They keep working to try to find a postman. Spring somebody loose in the middle. Bailey on the high. Jackie Garland cut off, puts up a 10-foot jump. It's no good. Amelia Braswell brings the board for the Lawrence County girls. We're knotted at 24. Just over six minutes, third period. Simone puts one up. From Brandy McMullen picks up personal foul number two. Gonna send Jill Simone to the line to shoot two. First one's up, no good. She's missed two so far. They haven't been to the line, but two, three, about four times. Second one's good. Lawrence County takes a one point lead with six minutes remaining, third period. Bailey working outside. Finds Foster on a high post. She makes her move. Old Mac Mullen has the ball stripped by Simone. She's leading the field, going all the way. Lays one up. Good. Eight points for Jill. Brings the lead out to three. 535, 24-27. These Summertown girls. Went over to Perry County Tuesday night. Come away with a two-point victory. Marshall, 20-footer. It's no good. Bailey hustles for the rebound. Give her back over to McMullen. Back out to Marshall. Finds a post on Bailey. Garland puts up a 20-footer. It's short, way short. Simone Smith brings the ball off to Mia Braswell. And with timeout on the floor, 4.59 remaining, third period, Summertown 24, Lawrence County 27. Bypass Pools in Columbia at 1803B Carmack Boulevard across from AutoZone and Bypass Pools number two, 221 West Commerce Street in Lewisburg. Travis and Shirley Roden offer a full line of swimming pool needs. We design, install, and provide a full range of upkeep and service for your pool. We have above ground, in ground, or fiberglass pools. We invite residential as well as commercial customers. We offer free estimates and planning, and we'll test your water free also. 
We sell chemicals, supplies, and all pool accessories. We also clean pools. Splash Pools and Bypass Pools are an authorized dealer of Becquerel. So for any swimming pool needs, call 359-1338 in Lewisburg or 381-5101 in Columbia. Open six days a week. 4.59 remaining in the third period. Lawrence County has built a, a three-point lead. Not much scoring. We're really having a defense in this game. Lawrence County really putting the pressure defense on the Summertown girls. Jill working the backcourt. Gets across. Summertown end on man-to-man. -man. Ball goes over to Marston. She's set up 20 feet out trying to make something happen. They're going to give her the shot. She won't take it. Simone has her pocket. Pick, pick back up by Marston. Simone takes a 16-footer, it's no good. Smith battling for the rebound into McMullen. Four and a half minutes, third period. McMullen's going all the way. We have a foul on Amelia Braswell, personal number two on the drive. McMullen thought she had her beat that trip. McMullen, trigger man in the Marshall in the middle. And Carla Smith picks up personal foul number four, send Tammy Marshall to the line to shoot two. Joy Burleson's quickly up off Coach Freeman's bench to replace Smith. Tammy Marshall only has three points tonight. She's hit one three-pointer. It's up, it's off. Bailey goes high for the rebound, puts her up. 18 big points. Brings Summertown within one with 415. Braswell working outside, trying to find somebody. Simone picks up, somebody's open. It's Marston, puts on up, give it to her. Tammy Marshall picks up personal number two. Team foul number three, and that's gonna send Heather Marston to the line to complete the three-point play. The Wildcats back out to a four-point lead. McMullen quickly over to Bailey. They shut Marshall down tonight. She's a killer, but they're not going to let her shoot. Jill Simone's covering her like a blanket, has all night. But Marshall right in the backcourt. She comes across the middle, back over to Skinner. Poor mistake. Three thirty-seven, Lawrence County with a four-point lead. Amelia Braswell working the left side, back over in the corner to Holly Hardy. Surprising, Hardy hadn't scored. Back over to Marston, back in the middle to Burleson, puts one up, no good. Gina Skinner brings the ball off. She's tied up. Give her back to Lawrence County. Holly Hardy set to do the inbound. She finds Simone back to Hardy for a 20-foot set. It's long, no good. Gina Skinner clears for the Summertown girls. McMullen set to bring her across. We're inside three minutes. Third period and counting. Brandy McMullen picks up personal foul number three. Time out on the floor, 2.57 remaining third period. Scott's Grocery in Summertown, George and Kim offer a full line of everyday groceries, BP brand gas, cigarettes, and tobacco. We make sandwiches of all types. We specialize in pizza. We make pizza in a variety of combinations. You can call ahead or order while you wait. 
That's Scott's Grocery, 964-2306, located on Highway 20 in Summertown. 257, third period. Lawrence County Wildcat and 30, Summertown Eaglets. The ball is stolen on the inbound. Harley Hardy working in low post to Simone. Puts one up, and she's foul. Gina Skinner picks up personal foul number one. Simone has 10, going for 11. It rolls, bounces, give it to her. Largest lead of the night, 33-26. Ball's intercepted by Lawrence County, picked back up by Foster. Boy, Lawrence County has got a tough defense tonight. Summertown girls are not setting picks and they can't get open. You gotta set a pick to get open in this kind of defense. Low post to Foster puts one up. She has five. Brings the lead back to five. 220, third period. Amelia Braswell, 35 feet out, trying to find somebody. Heather Marston going all the way. She's cut off eight feet from the basket. Braswell puts one up. Give her two. Amelia with eight. We're inside two minutes. The lead's at seven, 28-35. <laughs> Summertown working the perimeter, trying to make a cut, no good. Tries to hit the post. And Heather Marston picks up personal number three. Team foul number two. Team foul number three. 1.46, third period. McMullen and the Marshall, she's been covered up, hadn't been open all night. In the Bailey, eight foot jump. That's 20. 35-30. Jill Simone working out front. Cut off, gets the back line to Braswell. Puts her up, no good. Ball comes off to Lawrence County. We have a foul on number 15, Amelia Braswell. First small, number three. Team foul, number six. Foster, 25 feet out. We're down to the minute mark. McMullen makes a bad pass, picked up by Bailey, back to McMullen. They're giving Skinner the shot, but she's not gonna take it. She tries to hit the post, Bailey puts one up. And she's foul. Joy Burleson picks up personal number two, gonna send Vanessa Bailey to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Vanessa has 20 on tonight. The first one's up. It's good. This one's long, Lawrence County picks the ball off. Over to Jill Simone. Making her move outside, cut off over on the wing, back out front to Braswell, she's covered up. Marston puts up a 20-footer, give her a three. Heather stretches the lead to seven with 27 seconds in the period. Ball comes in to Bailey, puts up an eight-foot jump, no good. Ball comes off Lawrence County, Holly Hardy. They're working the backcourt, 14 seconds over to Simone. Jill 
Bringing her across, 10, 9, 8, over on the wing to Braswell. Back out to Simone, back over on the other wing to Marston, to Hardy, puts up a 25-foot jump. Third quarter comes in, in. Lawrence County 38, Summertown 31. Fox Sporting Goods at a 711 North Locust Avenue in Lawrenceburg. What can Fox Sporting Goods do for you? We silk screen jackets, caps, and t-shirts. We have computer monogramming service. We have trophies and plaques. We also have in-house lettering available. If you have problems finding large or small sizes, come to Fox Sporting Goods or call Ronald at 766-0313. Basketball, baseball, football, soccer, or any sporting item or uniform can be found at Fox Sporting Goods. Fox supplied the uniforms and equipment for the state champion baseball team. For any sporting good need, come by Fox Sporting Goods, 711 North Locust Avenue, Lawrenceburg, or call 766-0313. Well, Lawrence County's built a seven-point lead going into the fourth quarter. Seven points has been the largest lead of the night. Summertown set the inbound to start the fourth period into Bailey. She's quickly double teamed, kicks the ball off a of Lawrence County girl. Give her back to the Eagle Eds. McMullen working front court. Bailey 20 feet out, got her post girl working outside. Foster makes a bad pass, give her back to the Eagles. Skinner brings her into McMullen. Give her back to White. McMullen trying to find somebody on the inbounds. Marshall, 18 feet out. Back over to Foster to Skinner. Trying to move in the middle, she's cut off. Back over to Marshall on the wing. Makes a move to the middle. Back out to McMullen. Skinner had to end beat, didn't take it. Tried to find Foster in the middle, puts one up, no good. Ball comes off McMullen, puts up a five foot jump. Give Brandy two more. Ball comes into Simone, puts her up and in. That's 13 big points for Jill. Sometimes working a printer, back on the high post to Bailey. Marshall to McMullen to Bailey. Puts a turn, 10 foot turnaround. Two more. 35 to 40 with six and a half minutes. Summertown broke out into a full court press. They're in the man to man. Simone working the front court, back over on the left wing to Marston. Holly Hardy is still scoreless after three quarters and two minutes. Ball comes in the middle of Burleson, puts one up. Got it. She fouled. Shonda Foster picks up personal number two. That's going to send Joy Burleson to the line to complete the three-point play. Joy shots up. It's short. No good. Ball bounces around. Back to Lawrence County. Six minutes with a seven-point lead. Heather Marston making a move. Go over to Simone. Puts one up. Fifteen points for Jill. Stretches the lead to nine. Marshall puts the first shot of the second half. It's no good. Holly Hardy clears for the Lawrence County girls. Braswell over on the wing to Marston, back in the high post to Bra Burleson, back to Marston. Heather with a 15-foot jump for eight points, stretches the lead to 11. It's the largest lead of the night. 
And with timeout on the floor, five minutes, 12 seconds, 46, 35. D&D Grocery Center, David and Diane Bailey. D&D Grocery is your one-stop shopping center, open 5.30 each day. We have a full-line snack bar with pizza, old-fashioned hamburgers, and snacks. D&D is your headquarters for hunting and fishing equipment and license, also a deer checking station. We have a line of pipe fittings and nuts and bolts, so come by and see David and Diane. Five minutes, 12 seconds. Remain in the fourth period, 35-46. Let's give the Eaglelets the ball. Comes in to Benefield, puts her up. Give her to Alicia's on the board. Simone comes all the way back. She's cut off back over on the wing to Braswell. Working Simone left wide open, makes a move to the basket, lays her up and in. She's hot with 17 big points. Marshall, 22 feet out. Foster puts up a 10-foot turnaround. No good. Holly Hardy clears the board for the Lawrence County girls. We haven't called her name much tonight. She's normally one of the big guns, but she hadn't had to tonight. Jill Simonis took up slack rather well. Braswell working outside, looking for a post, trying to rotate the ball over to Simone. She takes care of the baseline. Over to Burleson, puts her up, no good. Ball comes off Summertown, pick back up by Hardy, give her two. We're inside of four minutes. Marshall marking her move, puts up a five-foot jump, no good. And Joy Burleson picks up personal number three. <laughs> McMullen set to beat Trigger Man, she finds Marshall on the wing. Let the ball get away, picked up by Foster, over and back. County in the front court to Marston over to Holly Hardy. We're going to pull her out for take a couple off. She's double teamed, 30 feet out, has a ball slap. We have a personal foul on Tammy Marshall, number three. That'll send. Amelia Braswell to the line to shoot the one and one. That's nine points for Braswell. Brought the lead back out to 14. Second shot, it's good. Double figure for me off of Coach Jimmy Freeman's bench. Timeout on the floor, 321 left, 32-52-37. Dickie's Janitorial Service of Columbia owner is Charlie Wright. For any type house cleaning, call Dickie's Janitorial Service. We will completely clean your house or business place. We'll clean the carpet, the walls, the windows, and every other dirty spot. We're more than willing to come to Lawrence County. For a free estimate, call 381-5805. We'll clean one time or on a regular basis. So for any type of janitorial service, call Charlie at 381-5805, day or night. Time's back in. Summertown set to inbound. The marshal on the right, right wing, back over to Foster to Bailey. Benefield left wing, we got Foster open in the middle. She fires the ball into 
Amelia Braswell leading the court, plays one up. And she's foul. Brandy McMullen, personal number four. That's gonna send Amelia Braswell to the line to shoot two. It's good, she has 11. Mail your second shot, nothing but net. 54-37, we're inside three minutes. Gil Simone picks up personal number two, and that'll send Vanessa Bailey to the line to shoot the one and one. <laughs> Vanessa has 23 tonight. Shonda has five, Tammy three, and Brandy four. Bounces high, no good. Hardy goes high for the rebound. Working front court, Amelia Braswell over to Marston. Back over to Braswell, makes her move. She's cut off. Double team, triple team, pricks her back to Marston. Triple team, alternating possession, give her back to the Wild Kittens. Orange County, Holly Hardy working back court. We're inside two and a half. <clears throat> Hardy working out front over to Braswell, back to Hardy. Got the big girl out working the ball. Amelia, Heather Marston, Jill Simone makes her move. She travels. Nobody within 10 feet of her. She travels. McMullen finds Marshall on the left wing, over to Bailey, 30 feet out, shoots a 25 footer, it's no good. Lawrence County, Heather Marston comes out with a strong rebound. Down the floor, over to Jill Simone, inside of two minutes, over to Holly Hardy. Holly working 30 feet out, over to Amelia Braswell, to Heather Marston. She's triple team. And Jackie Garland picks up personal number two with a minute, 38 seconds. Amy Daniels reports back in for Harley Hardy for the Lawrence County girls. It's gonna bring Heather Marston to the line to shoot the one and one. It's no good. Shonda Foster clears for Summertown on the run. Stop, Bailey, 22 feet out, launches one, give her three. 54 to 40 with the inside a minute and a half. Bailey is 26. Jackie Garland picks up personal number three in the back court. Timeout on the floor, a minute 17 seconds. Amy Kilpatrick checks in for the Lawrence County girls. As Amelia Braswell goes to the line to shoot. It's good, 13 points for Amelia off coach Jimmy Freeman's bench. Stretches the lead to 15, 55 to 40. Mills played a heads up basketball game tonight. It bounces no good. Vanessa Bailey comes off for the rebound. Minute 13 over to McMullen. Marshall launches a 20 footer, it's no good. Carla Smith brings one off the board and Vanessa picks up personal number one. Two 
Tiffany Story checking in for Coach Freeman. The Jill Simone goes to the line to try to add to her 17 points. It's no good. Bailey brings her off. Mike Mullen. Back over to Marshall. Back to Mike Mullen. We're inside a minute. Bailey working a baseline and Carla Smith picks up personal foul number five. <laughs> Allison White checks in for the Lawrence County girls along with Joy Burleson. <laughs> Tiffany Story. Amy Kilpatrick. Vanessa scores point number 27. Twenty-eight. Lawrence County against the full court press. Stolen by Foster over to Bailey. She steps behind the three-point line. It's no good. Give her back to the Wildcats. Oh, we're going to give her back to the Eagles. McMullen trying to find somebody over to Marshall. She can't even get a shot off. Puts up an 18-footer. No good. Ball cleared by Lawrence County. Tiffany Story, and she's fouled by Vanessa Bailey. It's going to send Lawrence County to the line to shoot the one and one. Tiffany Story at the line to shoot the one and one. It's up. It's good. Tiffany's first point of the night. Fifty-six forty-two. Fifty-seven forty-two. Amy Kilpatrick picks up personal foul number one as Tammy Marshall goes to the line. Tammy's been held to one three-point basket tonight. It's good. It's short and no good. Lawrence County to rebound. We have a foul. And Tammy picks up personal number four. Karen Morrison back in. We have number 54. I don't have her on my roster. Amy Kilpatrick's up. No good. She's across the line. We're inside 30 seconds. Ball comes across front court. Jackie Garland puts up a five-footer. Foster brings the ball off. Back over to Marshall, a 20-footer. Give her a three. 57 46, 15 seconds. 15 seconds remaining in the ball game. Lawrence County has come to Summertown to avenge the 12 point defeat from earlier in the year. 13 ball comes in. Kilpatrick puts one up. Bailey brings her back for the Summertown girls. McMullen dribbles her out of bounds for five seconds. 57 to 46. Marshall intercepts. Three, two, one. Ball game comes in. 
Summertown 46, Larsburg 57. Coach Jimmy Freeman's team has come in and avenged an earlier loss to the Summertown girls. Your scoring rundown, Holly Hardy with two, Joy Burles from four, Heather Marston with eight, Amy Daniels six, Tiffany Story two, Carlos Smith with five, Summertown was led by Amelia Braswell with 13, and Jill Simone with 17 big points. For the Summertown girls with 46, Brandy McMullen four, Tammy Marshall seven, Shonda Foster five, Alicia Benefield two, and Summertown was led by Vanessa Bailey with 28 big points. Summertown led, Lawrence County led at the end of the first quarter, 10 to nine. It was 22-22 at the half. Lawrence County led by seven, 38-31 at the quarter. And come out winning 57 to 46. Lawrence County High School Wildcats girls basketball coach Jimmy Freeman. Jimmy, congratulations on your victory over the Eagles tonight. Thank you, Charlie. We played hard. Our kids have been coming along here. We played a real good ball game against a ranked team in the nation, Franklin County. But we've been injured, and we got three of the four back tonight. I know about a month ago, Summertown went to Lawrenceburg, and, and they beat you about 12 points down there. But you look like a different basketball team tonight. How has your team progressed during the year? We're coming on. We're pretty young on the floor also. But we had played some pretty tough people and been kind of bunged up. And we got our people back. But Coach Odom does a good job. Y'all got a good ball club up here. Yeah, they seem to be improving game by game. Uh, you talking about your district. You happen to be in the toughest district in the United States with the top uh, two top ten teams of the United States, don't you? Yeah, and the one that's not ranked will probably be better. Manchester's better than those two. I'd hate to see them. Uh, it's something to play those ball clubs. They, they just put pressure continually, and it's it's a, a, a hard every night to play them. I know your girls really hustle, and they never give up. They several times they could give up, but they never give up. They hustle, and they're you have good size, seem like, this year. We have a... a our inside play's not been real good yet, but we're coming along slowly. Um, I can say again, we've been bunged up, and then we went to uh, Wayne, Waynesboro the other night and played that ball club, their big ball club, and our inside people did a better job that night. Yeah, Wayne County came in here and strictly dominated the Summertown girls. They couldn't even get the ball within 20 feet of the basket. They're tough. Coach Bird does a good job over there. We stayed with them through about three quarters, and then their size and their quickness. And you also had Franklin County for three quarters, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jack Harlow over there has got a big ball club, and, and we bumped heads with them. Triple-A basketball is a little rougher, and uh, we've had to decide where we're going to play. And so we're playing a little rougher. Tonight we played a little rougher, I think. Yeah, we find that out every time we catch these Triple-A teams. We, That's true. Of course, when you have Don Bonat and Tim Gaddis, you never know what you're going to get, do you? I don't really like that kind of basketball. I, you know, I was raised up here. I like the purest of it, but uh, that's the way you have to play. Well, congratulations, Jim, on your victory, and I hope you have many more 40 years out. Good luck to you all the rest of the year. Coach Anita Oldham's back with us tonight. We've been missing you the last couple of nights, Coach. Well, we've had several different things going on this time of the year. I'm sorry I missed, but we appreciate you taking your time to do this. Well, with the holiday season coming on, I know we have several things to do. You've had a couple of hard ball games this week. I know you went to Perry County and eked out a two-point victory the other night, and uh, that seemed to be an uplift. But you came in here tonight, and these Lawrence County girls were ready for you tonight, weren't you? Yes, they, they played more of an up-tempo game tonight, and my girls seems like we played hard, but we just couldn't execute offensively. We, uh, we did well defensively, I thought. We kind of broke down a little bit the third quarter. But it uh, seems like we are struggling offensively to just execute the plays that we know to, that work and uh, stay together. But they've, they've hustled really hard, and they're playing hard. It's not that they're not playing hard. It's just that we're having trouble executing. Yeah, it's hard to get things to fall. You know, when you defeat a triple-A school, they're going to come back and be ready for you next time you uh, come. And Coach Freeman had them ready tonight. That's exactly right. Uh, they're they're used to playing an up tempo game, you know, very physical game. And and my girls have played physical games all year long. We've had every game we've played has been a, a hard fought ball game. It, there have been no runaways either on my team or with other teams. It's been hard fought ball games. Yeah, every ball game we have now is a hard fought. Your team is looking better. I think a year or two ago. We were already falling completely apart, but this year we seem to be striving closer together and, and hanging tight. They're playing a lot better together as a team and, and looking for each other, each other, excuse me, and working together. Um, 
we've still got a lot to do, but we've come a long way, and I'm really proud of them. Um, the uniformity of the team has made a big difference this year. Well, we've got another probably tough game to Friday night. We'll go to Mount Pleasant. It shouldn't be tough, but you never know. When you go to Mount Pleasant, you never know what you're getting into. That's exactly right. Uh, Mount Pleasant seems like they're always ready for us, and uh, I'm not really sure what their season record has been up until now, but we hope to go and, and play good ball. Well, I, I hope you win over Mount Pleasant and, and have many more victories. We'll be seeing you after the first of the year, I guess. Thank you very much.